Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're still in the uh, introduction to cybersecurity and I reset the room for uh, intro to defense security, intro to digital forensics. Let's get into it. So I already load my attack room. It's connecting, so that's good. Let me exit the split view. All right, so I reset it. Let's get to task one, introduction to digital forensic. So as always, please uh, read through the tasks. This video, I'm just gonna show you how to answer the questions per task. So answer the questions below. Consider the desk in the photo above in addition to the smartphone, camera, and SD cards, what would be interesting for digital forensics? Hint, what do you call a computer that you usually place on your lap unless you use a desk? Uh, to me, this is a no brainer. I'm pretty sure it's a laptop. There you go. Answer is correct. Let's go test two. Task two, digital forensics process. Answer the questions below. It is essential to keep track of who is handling it at any point in time to ensure that evidence is admissible in the court of law. What is this? Oops. What is the name of the documentation that would help establish that? As you read, it, it will conclude that it's change of custody necessary to keep track of who is who was holding the evidence at any time. It should be chain of custody. Correct. All right. Last one. Task three: practical exam of digital forensics. Now you can. Uh, load your own attack box or your Linux but I'm using the website's attack box and already loaded so all right let's close this let's get right into it so it's asking to change directly direct directory root slash rooms then uh, intro digital forensics there you go so list I call it LS list the stuff so there's an image document a PDF and a zip file Now it's asking, the next step it says uh, install PDF info, but the attack box already have that program. So it's basically PDF info document.pdf. So it's asking, open up information on the PDF. So you use that command PDF info ransom letter dot pdf did i oh oops i typed it wrong answer questions below use pdf info find out the author of the attached pdf file the author and Gree shepherd so right click copy or control c Submit. All right. I love when I get the uh, answers correct. Now this is to extract photo data. Again, if you have a tag box is already installed, your Kali Linux, then you have to use this com uh, command sudo app install. And let's see. Let's try exyf tool. 
is a letter image dot jp it has all this info now what is the next question you using exit exit tool or similar to try to find where the kidnappers took the image they attach to their document what is the name of the street so the coordinates you get from exit tool are 51 degree 30 degrees 51.90 north 0 degree remember to replace degree with I don't know what it's called but oh, I think it's degrees and remove the space between the number and the symbol before searching so as you search GPS location is already right here so you could right click and copy and I use Google Maps paste it enter now it says it couldn't find right so it's asking to delete that 51 30 Zero degree. Let's try that. Now, as you can see, you zoom in, it's Milk Street. I think this is correct. There you go, correct answer. Last question, what is the model name of the camera used to take this photo? Hint, to display only the lines with the word camera, you can use group command. You can right click, copy, use the clipboard, and then right click again. Now, you paste this command and replace it with I forgot what's it called letter image letter image so it shows you just the camera information and it's asking for the name and I believe it's Canon EOS R6. Copy, paste. Here you guys, completed this room. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I already share on my LinkedIn. And uh, if you find this helpful guys, please give a, give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, comment below how to improve these videos. I, I hope this video is uh, informative and helpful to you. Um, last thing, just want to let you know guys, I'm not in the IT industry, but this is something I like to do in my off time, and um, yeah, so currently I have certifications in IFT+, A+, CY, SA+, Pentest+, Security+, and they're all active. And um, I just like doing this, 